Hi everyone, today we're going to study integration by substitution. Specifically, integration by substitution method helps us find antiderivatives when the integrand is the result of a chain rule derivative. Here are the steps. Step 1. Look carefully at the integrand and select an expression g of x within the integrand to set equal to a variable u. Let's select g of x such that g prime of x is also part of the integrand. Step 2. Substitute u equals g of x and du equals g prime of x dx into the integral. Step 3. Evaluate the integral in terms of u. Step 4. Write the result in terms of x and the expression g of x. This is example 1. Use substitution to find the antiderivative of the integral 6x times the quantity 3x squared plus 4 raised to 4 dx. For our solution, step 1 is to select u. Let us select this 3x squared plus 4 as the u. And let us take the derivative of this expression. So we have du equals 6x dx. If we analyze the integrand, the 6x and dx here is the value of du. And we say that this du is in the integrand already. Step 2. Substitute u and du in the integral. So we have now this 3x squared plus 4 is the u and this is raised to 4 and the 6x and the dx are equal to the du. And step 3 is to evaluate the integral in terms of u. We're going to use the power rule so we have now the u raised to 5 over 5 plus C. Now the step 4, to write the result in terms of x and the expression g of x. It means we're going to return the value of u from here. So we have now this 3x squared plus 4, the quantity is raised to 5, all over 5 plus c. This is the final answer. Example 2, use substitution to find the antiderivative of the integral of z times the square root of the quantity z square minus 5 dz. For our solution, let us rewrite the integral showing that this radical is in the form of fractional exponent. So we have now the integral of z times the quantity z squared minus 5 is now raised to 1 half, then dz. And from here, let us do step 1 to select u. We're going to select the quantity z squared minus 5 as the u. And then let us take the derivative of both sides. So we have du equals 2z dz. Now considering the integrand, we have here the z dz. But the value of du equals 2z dz. This constant 2 on the right side, we are going to eliminate by dividing this equation by 2. So we have now du over 2 equals z dz. Step 2. Let us now substitute the values 
that we found in step 1. So we have now the integral of this quantity z squared minus 5, that is the u, and then raised to the exponent 1 half. And this z, dz, is equal to du over 2. So we copy it here. Now, this denominator 2 is a constant that we can put it outside the integral sign. So we have now 1 half times the integral of u raised to 1 half du. And we can do step 3 to evaluate the integral. Let us use the power rule in here. So we have the constant 1 half times u raised to 1 half plus 1 all over 1 half plus 1. The 1 half plus 1 is equal to 3 over 2. So we will write now 1 half times u raised to 3 over 2 all over 3 over 2. Let us simplify the denominator 3 over 2 by flipping it up, thus making this denominator 2 here to be the coefficient of u in the numerator. So we have 1 half times 2 u raised to 3 over 2 over 3. We can cancel the 2 and the 2. So we simplify our answer into u raised to 3 over 2 over 3. Then we write plus c. And step 4, write the result in terms of x and the expression g of x. So the value of u from step 1 is the z square minus 5 and then this is now raised to 3 over 2 all over 3 plus c. This is now the final answer. Today, we are going to evaluate more integrals by substitution. In the last video, we studied the steps on how to integrate by substitution. You can pause the video and read the steps here. We shall now proceed to the examples. Example 1. Evaluate the integral of sine t over cosine cube of t, dt, by substitution. For our solution, the step 1 is to select the u. Take note that this cosine cube of t is the same with cosine t and the quantity is cubed. And from here, let us choose the cosine t to be the u. So we have the cosine t here. Then let us take the derivative of this equation. So du equals negative sine t dt. Analyzing our integral here, we have the remaining function to be sine t dt, which is positive. So what we are going to do here is to multiply this equation by negative 1. So we have now the left side to be negative du equals the right side is now positive, sine t dt. Step 2, let us substitute the values of step 1 to our integral. So we have this cosine t to be u and we can see the power 3. And in our numerator, the sine t dt is now replaced by negative du. Step 3, let us evaluate now the integral. First, let us move the negative sign outside the integral. Also, let us show this u cube in the numerator with a negative exponent. So we have now negative integral of u raised to negative 3 du. 
Now let us use the power rule to evaluate this integral. We have now the negative of u raised to negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is simply negative 2. So we have the negative of u raised to negative 2 all over negative 2. The negative sign of the fraction and the negative sign of the denominator will neutralize each other. So it becomes positive. And then, let us now rationalize the numerator with a negative power. So we have now 1 over 2u squared. And then, we write the plus c. Step 4, let us now return the value of u from step 1. So we have the 1 over 2 cosine square of t plus c. This is now the final answer. Example 2. Use substitution to find the antiderivative of the integral of 3x squared times e raised to 2x cubed dx. For our solution, let us select u. In this problem, we're going to choose u with that of the exponent of the e, the 2x cubed, and we write it here. Then taking the derivative of this equation, we have now du equals 6x squared dx. Observing our remaining function 3x squared dx, but the value here is 6x squared dx. We want to show this right side to be the same with our remaining function in the integrand. So we will divide this by 2. So the left side now of the equation becomes du over 2 equals 3x squared dx. Now step 2, let us substitute the values of step 1 to our integral. So we have now the integral of this e, then raised to the u now times this 3x squared dx is replaced by du over 2. Then step 3, let us evaluate the integral. First, this denominator 2 is a constant, so let us move it outside the integral. And that is now 1 half of the integral of eu du. This integral of eu is equal to eu itself. So we have now 1 half times e raised to u plus the c. Now, step 4, let us return the value of the u. So we have 1 half times e raised to 2x cubed, then plus c. This is the final answer. Example 3. Use substitution to find the antiderivative of the integral dx over x minus 5. Step 1. Let us select u. And this time, we're going to select the denominator x minus 5. And then, let us take the derivative of this equation. So du equals dx. Step 2, let us now substitute the values of step 1 to our integral. So the integral of this dx now becomes du over the x minus 5 becomes u. Then let us evaluate the integral. So we have the integral of du over u is simply the ln of the absolute value of u, then plus c. For step 4, let us now return the value of u from step 1. So the u is the x minus 5. So we write now ln 
of the absolute value of the quantity x minus 5, then plus c. This is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.